crop management improvement in crop yields in order to satisfy the ever increasing needs improvement in crop yields is a must different crops require different climatic conditions temperature and photo periods for their growth and completion of their life cycle photo periods are related to the duration of sunlight now what that means is that growth of plants and flowering are dependent on sunlight hmm as we all know plants manufacture their food in sunlight by the process of photosynthesis there are some crops which are grown in rainy season called the kharif season from the month of june to october and some of the crops are grown in the winter season called the rabi season from november to april paddy soya bean pigeon pea maize cotton green gram and black gram are kharif crops whereas wheat gram peas mustard linseed are rabi crops Thus the major groups of activities for improving crop yields can be classified as choice of seeds for planting that is crop variety improvement second the nurturing of the crop plants that is crop production improvement and the protection of growing and harvested crops that is crop protection management so let's have a look at these in detail shall we crop variety improvement this approach depends on finding a crop variety that can give a good yield hmm lots of research will have to be done for this Varieties of crop can be selected by breeding for various useful characteristics. Now, what are these characteristics? Well, such as disease resistance, response to fertilizers, product quality, and high yields. One way of incorporating desirable characters into crop varieties. is by hybridization farmers would need to be provided with good quality seeds of a particular variety that is the seeds should all be of the same variety and germinate under the same conditions cultivation practices and crop yield are related to weather soil quality and availability of water since weather conditions such as drought and flood conditions are unpredictable are they not so varieties that can be grown in diverse climatic conditions are useful similarly Varieties tolerant to high soil salinity have been developed. Factors for improvement in crop variety. Some factors kept in mind for variety improvement are higher yield. This is to increase the productivity of the crop per acre.
improved quality. Now the quality of the crop is very important, isn't it? Quality considerations in crop products vary from crop to crop. Baking quality is important in wheat, protein quality in pulses, oil quality in oil seeds, and preserving quality in fruits and vegetables is important. So different considerations have to be kept in mind for different crops. Biotic and abiotic resistance. Crop production can go down due to biotic stresses, which are diseases, insects, and nematodes, and also by abiotic stresses like drought, salinity, water logging, heat, cold, and frost under different situations. So, Varieties resistant to these stresses can improve crop production. Change in maturity duration. The shorter the duration of the crop, from sowing to harvesting, the most economical is the variety, is it not? Because they can keep on growing new crops and earn more. Wider adaptability. One variety should be able to grow under different climatic conditions in different areas. Desirable agronomic characteristics. Tallness and profuse branching are desirable characters for fodder crops. However, dwarfness is desired in cereals so that less nutrients are consumed by these crops. Thus, developing varieties of desired agronomic characters help give higher productivity. Crop Production Management In India, as in many other agriculture-based countries, farming ranges from small to very large farms. It is the money or financial conditions that allow farmers to take up different farming practices and agricultural technologies. There is a correlation between higher inputs and yields. Thus, the farmer's purchasing capacity for inputs decides the cropping system and production practices. Therefore, production practices can be at different levels. They include no-cost production, low-cost production, and high-cost production practices. So what that means is that the production practice which is going to be followed depends on the pocket of the farmer. Is it not so? Nutrient Management just as we need food for development, growth and well-being, plants also require nutrients for growth. Nutrients are supplied to plants by air, water and soil. Did you know that there are 16 nutrients which are essential for plants? Air supplies carbon and oxygen. Hydrogen comes from water and soil. Yes, the great soil supplies the other 13 nutrients to plants. Deficiency of these nutrients affects physiological processes in plants, including reproduction, growth, and susceptibility to diseases. To increase the yield, the soil can be enriched by supplying these nutrients in the form of manure and fertilizers.